Hello and welcome to the Indie Mind video review for City Tuesday on the Xbox 360. This aesthetically distinct game from studio Return to Adventure Mountain is a welcome addition to the puzzle game genre, but unfortunately it ends just as it's getting started. In City Tuesday, players take on the role of a citizen with a very special gift. The ability to control time. This gift is going to come in very handy on this particular Tuesday. Your unnamed hero is tasked with stopping the bombing attempts of a criminal organization. There's never really much of an explanation for who these people are, and there's nothing at all explaining who you are. But the game makes it clear very quickly that your purpose is to stop these bombs from going off. Now, stopping the bombs is easy, it's getting to them that's the problem. As you move from area to area in the city, you'll often be in a public location like a city street, museum, or somewhere along the public transit system. Everyone's carrying on with their normal daily lives, completely oblivious to their impending doom. While it's easy enough to spot the bombs, they're not always immediately accessible. Sometimes there are obvious barriers like security systems or guards blocking the way. In simple cases like that, you'll need to figure out ways of learning the security codes or getting the people impeding you out of the picture. In order to do this, you'll need to check out all the people milling about and see what you can learn from them. You'll also learn early on that you can't necessarily stop all the bombs in an area in one go. Sometimes you'll have to burn the entire daily timer just gathering information, or later on in the game there are just too many key events going on at once. It's situations like this where the hero's special ability comes into play. At any time during the day, you can pause the game and reset the day. When you do that, all the people and places wind back to their original state, but you'll remain in your current location, and any bombs you collected that day will remain diffused. In regard to the time mechanic and your use of it, I've seen a lot of the obvious comparisons to movies like Groundhog Day, and even in our written review, I compared the game to Majora's Mask. It's really hard to escape those comparisons, but I don't think seeing something like this before takes anything away from City Tuesday at all. It still feels fun and fresh because of the visual style, which I'll talk about a bit later. Now, as the game goes along, the means to reach your goal quickly ramps up in difficulty. Single room puzzles now become multi-scene chain reactions. You'll need to watch and learn how everyone goes about their daily business in order to figure out when certain people will be in a specific location, or when they'll perform a particular action that can set other events in motion. I think the developer has done a really great job of making this city feel alive, even if it's just on a very small scale. I mentioned earlier how keen I was on the visual style. Chris Zukowski, the creator of City Tuesday, has based the style of the game off of the help signs you would see in a public transportation vehicle uh, and in those kind of areas. So it should come as no surprise that many of the areas of the city in the game are set in those same locales. All the characters have a stick figure quality to them, and the simplicity of it all is actually very charming. Uh, this game, more than any other announced for the Xbox Indie Games Uprising event, caught my eye because of that unique artistic design. Now up till this point I've been nothing but glowing so far in my review, so it might surprise you to find out that I actually scored the game 3 out of a possible 5 points. The reason behind that choice was simple, the game is incredibly short. If you have 30 minutes to an hour of free time, you will finish this game in one sitting. It's possible you might get hung up on one or two of the late game puzzles, but that still won't pad the runtime very much. Now I'd heard the rumblings before playing the game that it was very brief, but I was still caught by surprise. It's a real disappointment because I felt like the game was still arcing upwards at the moment it finished. The later puzzles were creative, a little bit challenging, and I think they really showed promise for what I thought the game would evolve into. Unfortunately, City Tuesday never makes it that far. Now, I was tempted to score the game even lower than I did, but the content that is there is good. With a lengthier adventure, it could have been great. I'm really hoping that this game is used as the basis for a much more fully realized vision of its concept. Sitting at a price tag of 80 Microsoft points, City Tuesday is still worth a try as long as buyers understand the brevity of the game. And for those looking to take that risk, it's currently available in the Xbox Live Marketplace. Thanks for watching our video review of City Tuesday on the Xbox 360. For more indie news, reviews, and interviews, be sure to check out theindiemind.com.